Have you ever struggled to become more disciplined? You tell yourself, this New Year's resolution, I will lose weight. And you probably went to the gym and you started, you was going hard at it. But in about a month, you gave it up, you quit, you stopped exercising, even though you lost some weight. Or maybe you told yourself that you was going to write that first book. You start writing, you got through that first chapter, but all of a sudden you just quit. You stop writing, you stop going after the dream. Or maybe you're one of those individuals who just never started in the first place. You told yourself this year I was gonna do this, I was gonna do that, but I'm not doing it because I lack discipline. What's up, it's Gene, your coach and motivating impact storyteller. Today, I want to talk to you about how to become more disciplined. I am going to give you four ways that will increase discipline in your life. You see, if you want to realize a goal or dream, you must be self-disciplined. You have to take the initiative to make things happen. See, a lot of us right now, we are feeling stagnant, we are feeling stuck in our lives, we feel like that there's no dream that we can accomplish, and that's not true. The problem is you lack the discipline that's necessary that's going to allow you to realize your goals or dreams. See, the thing about self-discipline is you must be proactive. You must be conscious about actually doing the task that's going to move you towards your goals and dreams. So how do you become more disciplined so you can realize the goals and dreams of your life? Well, that's what I want to talk to you guys about. But before we do so, I want to ask you to hit that like button and share this video with somebody else that you know is lacking the discipline. So the first thing you have to do is you have to become comfortable with a new habit of planning your own day. See, a lot of us, we just go with the motions. We get up every day. We have no plan. We don't do anything that's going to help us to move towards our goals and dreams. And then we wonder why we're so frustrated. So you must become focused on planning your day. You see, self-discipline is all about doing the things you say you was going to do. As a matter of fact, my personal definition of self-discipline is this. Doing the productive task that you said you was going to do despite how you feel that's going to lead to your success. So getting in the habit of planning your day is so important because when you are an individual that plan your own day, you know the things you need to get done, then that allows you to grab hold of your own destiny so you can move forward towards the goals or dreams that you desire. You see, when I first wanted to start learning how to shoot video, I had to start to plan my day. You see, areas that I was lacking in is that every day I would tell myself, I'm going to start shooting video, but I never planned on shooting video. I never planned on making it happen. So therefore, I went day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, and I didn't shoot any videos. But when I start to plan my day, that's when things start to happen in my life. So number two, you have to start tearing excuses out of your life instead of building on top of the excuses you're already making. You see, when I was trying to start these videos, I had so many excuses that were holding me back. I was telling myself, I don't have a camera. Uh, I've never spoke on camera. I don't know what to say. And I had all these excuses. And because I was so focused on building on those excuses, instead of tearing those excuses out of my life, it was keeping me stagnant. It was keeping me in one spot. And some of y'all, you like that right now. You have been building on your excuses on why you can't go after your goals and dreams. You have been building on your excuses on why you don't have what it takes. But when you start tearing down those excuses, tearing them out of your life, then you can start making things happen. 
So the way I start tearing the excuses out of my life of when it pertained to video, I start telling myself, Gene, you have a cell phone. All you have to do is get your phone. It has a camera on there that's just as good as a camera that you get on a camcorder. And then I say, Gene, you have been taking all these speech classes. All you have to do is practice talking on your at your phone the way you talk to people. And the more you do it, the better you will get. And because I started tearing down my excuses one by one, instead of building on those excuses, today I can shoot video with one take. I'm confident at it. And now I have made that dream happen in my life. And the third thing that you must do is you have to sign a shift to your dream or goal task just like your job assign a shift for you to be at work. You see, when you assign a shift to work on your goals and dreams, when you assign a shift that you're going to work on those tasks that's going to allow that goal or dream to become a reality, then you have times in your day when you are proactive and you are executing discipline to make those dreams and goals happen in your life. See, it always amazed me how so many of us, we allow others to assign our time to something. Your job tells you to be at this, the job at this time and you show up. Your friends tell you to be at the movies at this time and you show up. But when it comes to assigning you know, time to your own task, so you can realize those goals and dreams of your heart, you don't do it. So you have to assign a shift to your goal and dream task that you will work on them just like your job assigned a shift for you to be at work. And the fourth thing is to have accountability too. You see, one thing that I've done in my life that has helped me tremendously is by having an accountability tool. And what I like to use is boards. You see, I got a gigantic dry erase board that has every day in a month. And all I do is go in there and try to have more disciplined tasks than undisciplined tasks. You see, when you have accountability too, you can actually see your progress. You can see the things you're doing. But if you don't have accountability too, if you don't have a way to see your progress, a way to hold yourself accountable, then you would let yourself off the hook. Then you say to yourself, you know, today I'm going to do this, but you don't get it done, right? That's what you've been doing right now, huh? Today I'm going to do that, and you don't get it done. Because you don't have accountability too. You don't have something that you can look at, that you can see when you are progressing or you're not progressing. See, if you can look at the disciplined days you have in your life versus the undisciplined days, what's going to happen is you're going to have to face yourself in the mirror. You're going to have a self-awareness moment. You're going to realize that, man, these days are not getting done. These tasks are not getting done. And that's why my dream is not happening. That's why my goal is not happening. But I promise you, if you put up an accountability tool that you can see your disciplined days versus your undisciplined days, and you start competing against yourself, nobody else, to be able to go out and be the most disciplined person you can possibly be. You can start executing that self-discipline. What's going to happen is this. You're going to, have, you're going to start having results in your life. The more you start having those discipline days, you start to build self-confidence. The more you start having those self-discipline days, you will feel more motivated. So I want to encourage you to have an accounter ability tool in place so you can see your progress because the more you see your progress the more you'll start to grow and the closer you'll start to get to realizing that goal or dream in your life so these are the four ways that you can become more disciplined now if you're somebody and you're really struggling with your discipline I want to ask you to join my free program, 30 Days of Self-Discipline. See, 30 Days of Self-Discipline, you have three tasks, and I'll try to make them very simple so you can start to build on them slowly. 
The tasks include this. You will read at least 20 minutes a day or listen to a podcast or audio book. You will select a diet of your choice and you will exercise for a minimum of five minutes to 30 minutes a day. So if you would like to help in building your self-discipline, I wanna ask you to click the link below, join my newsletter, you will get a free copy of my ebook, 30 Days of Self-Discipline, that lays out the instructions on exactly what you're going to do. It allows you to be able to stay in contact with me, it allows you to see the posts that I make, because in order for you to start to build your self-discipline, you have to start getting comfortable executing it in your life. So join 30 Days of Self-Discipline so you can start de developing the self-discipline that's gonna allow you to realize your goals and dreams because you, my friend, are worthy to be great.